Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about microstrip transmission lines. Microstrip transmission lines are also like your rectangular waveguides but the shape is quite different from the conventional waveguides. Okay, in the conventional waveguide, the waveguide does not have any other uh, uh, shape differences. The uniform cross sectional area is there from uh, right from the starting to ending. But in the micro strip transmission line, a strip is there with a different uh, width, with a specified width from starting to ending throughout the waveguide so that it uh, is used to transmit the signals in a different uh, manner. I will explain uh, how it is. See, this is the micro strip transmission line. It's like a waveguide, but this, it, this is the rectangular waveguide. The part which is uh, shown here, this is the rectangular waveguide from here to here with the height h and the micro strip is just a copper type micro strip has been incorporated on the waveguide with a thickness of t and width w and length l okay uh, it is having a substrate over here it is having a substrate over here that is constructed with the different different materials Okay, I will tell what are the different substrates, uh, substrating materials that are used and what type of material is having best uh, characteristic among all. I will discuss when that topic comes. So, coming to this micro strip transmission lines, micro strip transmission lines consist of a conductive strip a conductive strip of width w and thickness t thickness t with a length l we can also say with a length L that is with respect to the waveguide okay and the dielectric constant is it is having a separated it is separated by a dielectric layer layer it is separated by a dielectric layer of thickness thickness h this one okay from here to here okay it is shown in small h but it is represented generally in the formula it is represented with capital h okay so is the entire material from here to here it is nothing but a dielectric material again at the bottom it is having a conductor so micro strip is by far the most popular microwave transmission line so micro strip is by far the most popular microwave transmission line especially for especially for microwave integrated circuits especially for microwave integrated circuits and monolithic microwave integrated circuits monolithic microwave integrated circuits so these type of transmission lines are having multiple advantages in the microwave communication and as well as in the manufacturing of monolithic uh, microwave integrated circuits so the major advantage the major advantage of micro strips over strip line is that all active components 
all active components can be mounted on top of the board on top of the board so what is the main advantage of this micro strip so micro strip over other strip lines other strip lines they cannot fill uh, all these active components on this waveguide but this waveguide is having a, an advantage that uh, it can mount all the active components on it but then what could be the disadvantage of this one okay definitely advantage is there and as well as disadvantage is there for any device so the disadvantages are the disadvantages are that when high isolation is required when high isolation is required when high isolation is required such as in a filter or switch some external shielding some external shielding may have to be considered may have to be considered hope you understand see when high isolation is required high isolation is required what could be the isolation example so it may be a filter or a switch okay filter or a switch means it is having some separation between the two components then definitely we should use that device as a filter or a switch in such cases definitely a high external shielding may be required okay and a minor issue with micro strip is that is that it is dispersive it is dispersive it means that signals of different frequencies signals of different frequencies travel at slightly different speeds slightly different speeds it's usually not a big issue but this property is what causes the asymmetric frequency of bandpass filters asymmetric frequency of the bandpass filters see what could be the minor issue suppose if you are taking any microwave transmission line in this micro strip transmission line if you are transmitting frequencies with different frequencies all these can travel with different speeds okay i want to transmit all the trans, uh, signals at the same time that is that may not be possible using this micro strip uh, transmission lines with the different frequencies if all are having same frequencies of course it is okay but with the different frequencies it may not give same and correct time at the reaching end other end okay see these are the electric and magnetic fields how the electromagnetic signals are being uh, uh, travel inside the micro strip lines see the electric uh, the figure shows the figure shows the electric and magnetic lines inside the micro strip line see micro strip line is nothing but micro strip transmission line no need to specify it is micro strip transmission line sometimes it is referred to as micro strip line as well okay see what it is it is a conducting medium it is a conducting medium nothing but copper wire okay nothing but a copper strip 
okay with the thickness t now the electric field lines are originated from this copper and it is going towards downwards the entire dielectric medium because it is a conducting medium it is a conducting medium in between these two the electric lines are being passing from here to here in the downward direction okay and as well as the magnetic field is generated around this conducting path see this is the magnetic field so the electric fields and magnetic fields are generated in this way for this microwave transmission line so if you take some features of this microwave transmission line i will tell few salient features so salient nothing but important features of this micro strip transmission line are first one the fabrication of this one is fabrication is by printed circuits fabrication is possible by using a printed circuits so devices can be as i told you devices can be bonded to strip okay as it is having a conductive strip above the transmission line the devices can be bonded or over that all components are accessible all components all active components are accessible so large variation large variation in characteristic impedance z not large variation in characteristic impedance z not monolithic applications monolithic applications so monolithic microwave integrated circuits can be fabricated using this micro strip transmission line so that's why it is having monolithic applications structure is rugged and can withstand high voltages and high powers structure is rugged and can withstand high voltages and power levels so because of that structure only it can withstand maximum voltages and as well as power okay so used up to so it can be used up to 300 gigahertz that means almost we can say it is the end of microwave range or more okay that is the another advantage of this microwave transmission line micro strip transmission lines and exhibit quasi exhibit quasi tem mode exhibits quasi tem mode for the distance which is less than less than operating wavelength okay generally any type of waveguide it is a rectangular waveguide or a circular waveguide tem tem mode does not exist but in the micro strip transmission line tem mode quasi that means partially tem mode is going to be existed but the condition is the length of the transmission line must be less compared to the operating wavelength so these are the different and salient features of these micro strip transmission lines